of Learn with Vidip. In this sixth episode of the series, a complete guide to Figma prototyping for UX and UI designers, I will take you through the most important aspect of prototyping that is the grid and the guides. And we will also see how we can use the most important aspect of prototyping is how to lay out the bootstrap columns. So most of the people who are actually into the UI and UX space, they are well aware of the fact that bootstrap is a very important tool for them. If you are not a developer, you need not to deep dive too much into bootstrapping. But if you are a designer, you should know how a bootstrap column works. If you search in uh, Google about bootstrap grids examples, you will see a lot of example floats over here and if you go to the bootstrap system grid system you can see a lot of codes which are extremely important for the coders when they are doing a lot of uh, uh, code base based on bootstrapping and there are lots of examples you can have a lot of examples of bootstrap these are all made with bootstrap guides Okay, so if you see the images, you will see a lot of these bootstrap examples are like this. So most of the cases, if you are going for a fully responsive website or a adaptive website, bootstrap will be a boom to you because it will actually tell you how a particular website will look in different devices and how much space how much see if you see these things these are the columns that bootstrap gives as a present to the developers which are like a bible to them so they have to follow each and every grid to understand how they will expand or reduce a particular design to fit into various devices Okay, so let us just jump back to our system. So in Figma, by default, nothing you can see of grids and guides. It only appears when you click the most important part, which is the frame. Press F in your keyboard or click on this frame to select it. Over here in the right hand side, you can see that there are a lot of frame examples that they have already built up. So let us check uh, the desktop theme. By default, it is 1440 by 1024, which is actually the resolution of a uh, laptop. Mostly, even if it's a MacBook Pro, it is 1440 by 1024. But if you have a Retina display, so it will be multiplied by 2, which is 2880. So let us click on this desktop. As soon as I click on the desktop, you will see that this layout has been given to me. But let us see, uh, I want to change this thing to say a 1920 full screen desktop layout. So this is what you will get. If you want, you can just drag this thing a little bit down so that it gives a impression that you have a scrolling web website. Okay, it's perfect. By default, if you see the grid system or the column system is not there, they are actually uh, hidden over here. So if you click on this particular layout grid, you see by default, the grid system comes into place. All the small, small uh, dots that you see over here. You can click over here and you can actually uh, increase or decrease the grid system. So see, if I have made it 25, immediately the grids become 25 pixel squares. But I don't want grid as of now. So what I will do, I will click over here 
and I will select columns which is extremely important for us. So there are two types of columns ideally it's either stretched which is end to end if I want a full fledged uh, website where the columns are laid out from one end to the other I will have a stretched layout by default I will require a 12 column layout so I will click on 12 I will add 12 see the entire page is laid out in 12 equidistant columns from one edge of the website to the other edge okay I am not disturbing the color as of now that is perfectly okay the 10% shows that they have used a red color with a 10% opacity great so say for example I don't want a stretched uh, layout I want a centered layout so my columns should be laid out in the center so I click on center see immediately the grids now occupy the center most space of your uh, uh, enter layout by default if you see the bootstrap allows a 1170 area for a centered layout which is by default for uh, bootstrap what I can do I will just make this width as 70 this is what we have already experimented and seen and the gutter space what is the gutter space gutter space is the width that you see over here between the two columns they are the gutter space I have to make it 30 awesome and if you see now you cannot see whether this particular area is 1170 or not let us check it I will take a shape and I will just drag a rectangle over here till it snaps to both the sides of the columns and see over here you have 1170 width awesome right I am not very much worried about the height of the thing because that is totally as per your design uh, layout that your designer will give you and you can increase and decrease the uh, uh, this height and width of this thing as per your need so say for example if I want to quickly create some layouts I can just do it like this so awesome right see how very conveniently they put this uh, distance between the two uh, rows over here so if I want to make this row uh, similar to this width I can just take this thing down still I get equal distance in that way so I can actually see awesome okay so that's the way you can actually make this thing again uh, totally end to end if you want uh, at a later time you want to make say a smaller box over here for videos or something like that you can very well do that perfect okay so this box are totally your control how you actually create the layout for your client see how so easily we can just lay out the boxes so that it gets automatically aligned to the central grid so this is very very important okay just zoom a bit 
but still one thing is missing in this entire tool and that is the ruler grind the ruler will only come if you uh, press shift and r see the ruler has now appeared okay so this is extremely important to bring the guides okay like this ruler guides okay great so we can now make this thing like this similarly lovely so this is see how important it is to have the cena all a 41 that i have created great right so that's all folks for this particular episode this is an extremely important thing rather this should have been taken as a very first um, chapter um, or the very first episode of this entire series but we had to understand different tools so that we can create these grids so now when we are all accustomed with various tools what figma gives us it is important to learn how to create these grids guides and columns so that's all um, that's the basic understanding of how a particular prototype is created i will take you through a detailed journey of creating a layout from scratch in figma step by step in the next episode don't forget to miss, don't forget to see the video because it is extremely important and it is like a, a basic uh, crash course for you to create your uh, design prototypes if you find this particular video extremely important for your prototyping journey please like share and comment on this video and if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications of our upcoming update still we meet again goodbye and god bless